Good afternoon, my name is Miss Cavilla Perkins and I'm an assistant head teacher at Samuel Ward Academy and it's with great pleasure that I deliver this enrichment session with you today looking at how you can aim to attend a top university. This is possibly my most favourite part of my job role is supporting young learners to aspire to the greatest goals. So in today's session, what we are going to look at is how you can potentially get yourself prepared to apply to a top university and explore your options. Now, this course or enrichment session is aimed particularly at those of you in years 10, 11 and 12. So what I'm going to do first is talk to you about the top universities. Now, the top universities in the UK are called the Russell Group Universities. Now, this is 24 world class, innovative universities. Now, <clears throat> they all have their own very rich history and ethos and very distinguishing characteristics. Now, the source that you will find a list of all of them are is at the bottom of the screen. However, without looking at that, I would like you on a piece of paper just to write down as many as you can think of. So pause the video here and write down as many of you can think of the top universities in this country. Well, thank you very much for doing that. Hopefully um, you have got lots down on your piece of paper. Now, little quiz. Where do you think I am? Which of the top universities? Have a look for any clues. I'm at King's College, Cambridge. Wow, what rich history. You may have walked past it before. Where am I now? Hmm, gosh, don't they look similar? Have a go. Ah, I'm at All Souls College in Oxford, Oxford University. Where am I now? My gosh, they do look very similar, don't they? With that rich history. I'm at King's College in London now. And last but not least, where am I now? Hmm, slightly different architecture here. I'm in the University of Liverpool. Now, all of those pictures I've just shown you are of prestigious Russell Group universities. Now, these are universities that are world class in their research and they aim to provide a workforce for the UK and globally with their outstanding teaching and learning and their excellent unrivaled links that they have with different businesses in the UK and globally, um, both national sector and public sector as well. So they're just so dynamic, these set of 24 universities. They have got world class leading research and they produce hundreds of thousands of jobs across the country. And they inject 87 billion into the national economy every year through their research and through the very highly skilled graduates that they create. So who are they? Hmm, you can see some words sticking out there on this little word I've made. Here is a list of the 24 of these Russell Group universities. I wonder how many of them you got. Hmm. I bet you got Cambridge and Oxford. Hmm. Lovely. So these are the award winning global frontiers of academic excellence. <clears throat> so we know these top universities, but what course are you going to choose? I mean, do you have a career or a profession in mind? Maybe um, you have a favourite discipline that you wish to continue with. So you might want to consider now, pause me quickly and just think, hmm, is there somewhere that I want this degree to take me professionally? Say like architecture, doctor, vet, teacher, or is it that you want to explore deeper a discipline of your, you know, that you have ultimate passion for and then see where that might take you? For instance, English literature, history, Right, so on to the very exciting part. I remember doing this, um, you know, in my sort of year 11, year 12, and it was so exciting. You can choose your course. Now, you'll find the source down at the bottom. So you'll go to the UCAS undergraduate section, and there's lots of different search searches that you can do. So if you think of a, a city, for instance, that you want to study in, you can search by that first of all, and then by course, or by subject area. Um, and you can search, obviously, as an undergraduate, that means someone that doesn't have a degree yet. And it doesn't really matter what entry you, you enter at the moment, probably just go for the current, see what the current um, 
requirements are for that course. Um, so you can pause me here and have a little go at using um, this digital search tool. So much fun. Um, so just to show you a little bit further, for instance, I um, oh I forgot to tell you my specialism is geography and sociology. Now, so I thought mm, I'm going to search geography degrees. <clears throat> so when I filtered it, my gosh, 766 courses came out from 89 universities. Um, so what will come up first is an alphabetical list of all the universities that offer geography courses. So I chose to click on to um, a Russell Group one of the University of Birmingham. Now you'll notice there's lots of different ones. So there's a Bachelor of Arts Honours, which is more human geography, a Bachelor of Science, which is the B BSc, which is more scientific and physical based, and they're both three years full time. Or you can actually do an MSCI Honours, which actually includes and masters and you'll notice that they're four years as opposed to three so you get an integrated masters within your degree as well which is um, a, a postgraduate so after you graduate you then get a masters within your subject as well so i decided to look at the masters one because i'm going to challenge myself so what you'll find as you click on it is the course summary the details fees and fundings available and the entry requirements. So you'll notice because this is quite a prestigious university and I've gone in, you know, crazy and decided to go for the master's version. They've said that I need three A levels at grade A. Now, the reason I encourage you to do this earlier, particularly if you're in year 10 or 11, is because they might actually state particular subjects that they're interested in. Uh, so say, for instance, you went for architecture or engineering, they might ask for um, at least a grade in maths, for instance, or physics. <clears throat> so sometimes they'll state subjects in particular um, and they'll often state the, um, the grade and whether or not they will actually take BTEX as well. So it's something you very you must check this out really um, before making choices. So like I say, in this case, they're asking me for three A's, but no subjects have been specified. Uh, they're probably assuming that I will have done geography or something um, within the humanities. So, like I said, hopefully you will have paused me then and had a little go at um, yourself. It's a bit of a rabbit hole because it's quite exciting. That, as you saw there, there were hundreds and hundreds of university potentials. But as you're aiming for the top universities, keep an eye out for those 24 Russell Group universities as well. But the good news is you can apply for up to five courses slash universities. So, for instance, you could apply for multiple courses at the same institution or five courses across five institutions. The application process will normally begin in the summer of the um, summer term of year 12. But obviously you can never be too prepared and get your ideas um, there waiting, ready for them. So, hmm, you've thought about courses, you've thought about where the best providers are. But you can actually look at the league tables. <clears throat> now you see the source down at the bottom. I've used the Guardian, um, which is looking at the 2020 most updated university league tables. And you'll look that they use a, a vast range of criteria in order to, um, to judge that. And you can filter those. Now, this is the main table and it shows you where the university ranks in 2020 and in comparison to 2019. So you'll see Cambridge stays at top position um, for things like satisfaction um, with courses, student to staff ratio, etc. Um, so that has maintained top status. But you'll notice that Oxford has been trumped by St Andrews College um, in Scotland. So you'll notice there that actually not all of those universities are actually part of um, the Russell Group, but most of them are. Now, what you can also do is on that main pick, uh, sorry, excuse me, pick a subject area, you can actually then filter that by subject because you'll notice that that ranking will change. So say, for instance, you want to go to engineering, it might be that Cambridge is still top, but those, um, you know, numbers two to, to 10 will be different depending on the specialism of that university and sort of the research that they have there um, and all of the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the professional lecturers, their specialisms, etc. So it will vastly change. So again, I suggest you pause me here and have a little play around with this one as well to look at what the best um, course or university and where that might be for you. Now, I've gone on quite a lot. Hopefully you're going to go away and have a go at some of these and really get a taste for your future aspirations and options. Now, I just want to leave you with a little thought from Marie Curie. 
Life is not easy for any of us, but what of that? We must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that is the thing that must be attained. Now, I wish you all so much luck in your futures. I'm sure you will all be absolutely wonderful. But remember, you must work hard and show that perseverance in order to succeed. So dream huge and explore all of your options and seek advice from your teachers, your career advisors, anybody, parents, friends. Now is the time to plan for your future and what an exciting position to be in. It's been lovely to spend time with you this afternoon. Please feel free to explore all of those different links. Take care.